in one of southern Madagascar's last forests. A white wall stands, marking the boundary between two warring tribes. On one side, the museum gang, an easygoing troop of 14, led by their inexperienced queen, Katie. On the other, the ruins gang. For them, order and discipline are a way of life, under the rule of battle-hardened crystal. Between them, the barren sand of no man's land. Across the divide, the rivals strut and stare. <laughs> it's September, near the end of a long dry season. Food is getting scarce. Tension is rising. But neither troop wants to risk a fight. For now, an uneasy truce holds. 100 years ago, southern Madagascar was covered in forest. But the trees were cleared for farmland. This fragment, the Berenti Reserve, is one of the last protected forests left in the south. Today, 1,000 ringtail lemurs, half the world's wild population, are marooned on this tiny island of trees, less than a square mile in size. A small collection of reserve buildings sits on the fringes of the tree line. The naturally territorial ringtails lay claim to the human landscape, just as they would the forest each gang carving out a piece for its home turf. Living partly among humans isn't all bad. There's protection and resources they'd never find in the forest, which gives Berenti's ringtails a very high rate of survival. But it also makes for tight quarters. The lemurs here are packed in five times more densely than normal. They're used to sharing their turf with the local Malagasy people who work at the reserve. But the troops don't like sharing with each other. Every tree, road, garden and building has been claimed. Stepping into the wrong territory, that's a declaration of war. 